South Pier is Grand Haven's iconic structure. I think people in West Michigan uh, love to show off our, our lakefront and love to brag about it a little bit. It's 1400 foot catwalk and two bright red lighthouses, a destination for all. We spent a lot of time, effort and, and local uh, philanthropic money to make those look really great. But last summer, the pier attracted vandals. So we take that kind of investment very seriously and to have somebody go in to face that. City uh, manager that's Pat that's McGinnis explaining toward the end of the season, graffiti became an issue. People tagging the inner and outer lights about six times in August alone. No one arrested. Upset, he says, a group of community members then asked, how to help. And I talked to public safety and they said, well, if we had good surveillance out there, we could probably uh, put an end to it. Over the winter, the Area Community Foundation set up a fund, raising roughly $21,000 to buy five cameras. Grand Haven City Council approved the project in May with the wiring for them laid out this past week. And I doubt we'll have much more in the way of graffiti once those cameras are activated. And word will get, word will get out because the first person that tags them We'll arrest them that night and the graffiti will be gone the next day. McGinnis says the cameras alert police with direct links to what's going on, but notes it will only be checked when certain criteria is met. They can open up the app on their phone and look at the video and know if somebody's out there and know if there's just somebody sitting watching the water or if somebody's up to no good. Eventually, they will be used to help with water rescues and added to other nearby landmarks like Sluka Field. Gonna keep this fun going and, and that's a very simple and not too expensive way to uh, secure those assets.